What is going on guys? Dorko back again. I hope you are fantastic today. And today, we're actually going to talk about my ideas. If Scott wants to do a Five Nights at Freddy's 4, what would he be able to do for Five Nights at Freddy's 4 to continue with the franchise? Now, just remember guys, I am not saying there's going to be a Five Nights at Freddy's 4, but by the looks of it, the way he's left Springtrap to survive and things about Fred Bear's Diner, what we don't know yet. Um, he could he could do something like this, guys. He could do something. So these my these are my ideas for Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Now, like I just said, at the end of Five Nights at Freddy's 3, during the fire, we get a newspaper article saying Fazbear Fright has burnt to the ground. If you didn't know already, behind the Freddy figurine, Springtrap is there. So this could possibly be hinting by Scott that Springtrap actually survived the horror and there's going to be an auction, like it says at the end. Now, because it's an auction, folks, we also don't know what other parts survived the fire. Maybe some of the other animatronics survived. Maybe some of the parts survived. You never know, folks. So, on the basis that Springtrap does survive the fire, who would buy it in an auction? Think about it. If it was in an auction, who the hell would buy an animatronic? Now, this could lead to so many ideas, folks, on who could buy this. Maybe a museum, maybe another attraction, maybe another restaurant, maybe another pizzeria. It can lead to so many ideas. But let's just go on the basis, folks, that maybe... A new restaurant is thinking about having new animatronics, but they can't afford to build a brand new animatronic. And they've saw an auction newspaper in the in 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 the newspaper, an advertisement about an auction. And the owner of the restaurant goes, "Oh my God, some animatronics have been for sale. I'm going to buy one of these animatronics and use it for my restaurant." So this is the thing, folks. This is what could happen. An owner of a restaurant could buy Springtrap and update it. Just like they did in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 where they updated the old withered animatronics in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. They kept the basis of the endoskeleton and stuff but just updated it. So what if we see in Five Nights at Freddy's 4 a brand new Springtrap, an updated fresh clean Springtrap but the spirit of the purple man still lies within Springtrap and this is where things could go further folks because it's a new restaurant there could be brand new animatronics we could see different animals we could see different characters but it's just about Springtrap as well that could be possibly why folks Freddy Fazbear's hat is on the floor it's the end of Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria it's the end of Freddy Fazbear and Chica and Bonnie and Foxy. It's all over for them. But it's a new beginning for Springtrap. Springtrap's going to come into play in the next games if Scott wants to do it with new animatronics. You see what I'm trying to say here, folks? It could not be the end. You never know. Because if Springtrap survives the fire and he's left it at such a cliffhanger... He's left it so he could actually make another sequel after Five Nights at Freddy's 3, if he wanted to. With brand new animatronics, with brand new everything, a brand new restaurant. Um, just that Springtrap is still within the restaurant with new animatronics. And like I said earlier, folks, it could be a museum, it could be anything what could buy Springtrap. You never know. An auction is a massive thing, folks. Anybody could buy something like this anybody and like I said we still don't know what parts survived the fire you never know folks maybe some of the other old animatronics survived who knows we don't know it's up to Scott what he wants to do if he wants to make a sequel now because Scott could make a sequel he could also make another prequel from the beginning we still don't know the, the name of the murderer, we still don't know the bite of 87, we still don't know a lot of the basis of things about Five Nights at Freddy's. You know, we, we've got a slight detail, we know Purple Man killed the kids, but we don't know who Purple Man is. 
What's the deal with Phone Guy? What's the deal with Golden Freddy? You know, we still don't know lots of the story about Five Nights at Freddy's. So Scott could make a prequel and set it at Fred Bear's Diner or the other location after Fred Bear's Diner. And now we even know that there was a sister location on the go. And we don't know whether this sister location was the rotting location where the withered animatronics are. But basically, Scott could make um, prequels about one of these older locations and he could bring about all the other old animatronics who were there. Maybe some new animatronics who were just scrapped. He's got so many ideas again. And we could finally understand about the murders. We can finally understand more information about Phone Guy. We can understand the story about Golden Freddy. Why we always thought Golden Freddy was actually like a really like the murderer used to kill the kids. But actually from the mini game, we can see that uh, a child wears a Golden Freddy mask. So we think now that Golden Freddy is actually an innocent animatronic. Um, and it was just one of the kids spirits. It's obviously hard to understand, guys, which is why we could do with a prequel of Five Nights at Freddy's and the, the beginning, the absolute beginning of the whole story and why all the murders happened. Why did the murderer kill the kids in the first place? All that jazz, folks. It's still a massive mystery to us. So Scott, again, could make a prequel about the whole story. So yeah, guys, those were just some ideas on what Scott could do for a Five Nights at Freddy's 4 or a Five Nights at Freddy's Origins. That's what lots of people are saying uh, he might call it. Um, like I said, guys, if Freddy Fazbear is not in the sequel of Five Nights at Freddy's 3, he could call it Five Nights at Spring Traps. He could call it Five Nights at Bonnie's. He could call it lots of different things. Um, but because it's a Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, I think he'll keep it that name. Because remember in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, we didn't really get anything about Freddy, really. We, it was all about Springtrap, so he's, he's, he, he probably will keep the name Five Nights at Freddy's. But like I said guys, Scott's got lots of things he can do. And we haven't heard an announcement yet that Five Nights at Freddy's 3 was the last game. The only way we're going to know if it is the last game, if Scott makes an announcement saying... Guys, Five Nights at Freddy's 3 was the last game. I'm not going to make any more games about Five Nights at Freddy's. So that's the only thing that we're going to rely upon if Five Nights at Freddy's is the last game. But on the basis, I actually do think that Scott has lots of opportunity to make a sequel and a prequel if he would want to. Um, I know you guys think that as well because, you know, we've got so much things we need to learn about still. And we haven't learned a lot. It's still a massive mystery about the whole thing, about Five Nights at Freddy's, the murders and etc. Um, so yeah, like I said guys, um, this is just like my ideas. I'm not saying that Scott is definitely going to make a Five Nights at Freddy's 4. I just want you guys to think about it, you know. And I want you guys to think about your ideas, you know. Tell me your ideas in the comment section, what you would like if Scott makes another Five Nights at Freddy's. Lots of love, guys. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.